Hi, Grade 7s. This is Mr. Trino here, um, and I wanted to introduce the uh, clay sculpting activity. We're going to be working on uh, personalized uh, sculptures of ourselves as well as uh, characters and or heroes. So what you're looking at right now are uh, a sample of a couple of people's work from last year on this assignment. We have uh, Mickey Mouse, we have Luigi, we have uh, a grade 7 student, a uh, female student, and we have one of my boys from last year as well. Okay, let's take a look at some of the tools that you're going to be using. So, uh, for this assignment, you're going to be using some uh, Pottery Select uh, carving tools. I'll be showing you how they work, as well as some modeling tools here. Uh, you're going to require a sponge, water, and a brush, and obviously, our clay. All right, so let's get started. Very first thing we're going to do is get some clay. All right, so we now have our raw clay. So we are going to turn this into that. Now notice how light uh, the finished product is and how dark the initial clay is. This clay is very moist. It has a lot of water content in it. The other ones have dried. All right. Now we are going to put them in the kiln and heat them up or we may just leave them out for three or four days and let them air dry. Uh, either way it will work and they're, they're very hard and solid and ready to paint. All right. So let's get started. Just going to leave that there like this so that you guys can watch me start to carve it out. All right, so we need to create a base, all right? As you notice in the samples, they have a base to hold the head up, all right? So basically like a neck and shoulders. So I'm going to take a small chunk off and I'm going to keep that for my base. And I'm just gonna mold the clay a little bit and I'm gonna try and get the rough shape of a head. All right. Okay. So I have my rough shape of what the head is going to look like. I always have a little bit extra clay on hand, one for the base and also some for your eyes, your nose, and some of the facial features that you're going to be adding in. Okay. We want to think about um, perspective when we're looking at the face and we want to know, like if you notice, the eyes should be roughly half the distance from the top. So I'm just going to put in some rough little indentations, very, very early stage of where our eyes are going to be. All right. Now I'm going to take this other piece of clay here and I'm going to start to form a rough nose. So all I'm going to do is attach it on like so. All right, so we have a very rough outline of eyes, we have a very rough outline of nose. And I'm going to do the same for where the mouth is going to be. So here we have a very rough outline of the face. I'm going to use my water here a little bit. I think water is like my best friend when I'm working with clay. And I'm just going to moisten it up a little bit. The key is a little bit. You, you don't want to have too much. So I'm starting now to attach that piece of clay a little bit better to what I had before. All right, so now my nose is really starting to take a little bit of shape and it's starting to look a little bit better. 
I'm going to kind of round it out. We're going to have sort of a button nose here. All right. So now what I'd like to do is show you a rough outline of the lips. So what I do is I take a little bit of clay and I roll out sort of a piece like that. And I want the middle to be a little thicker because it's going to be like our bottom lip. Okay, and I'm just going to attach it on like that. I'm going to take one of the clay carving tools and I'm just going to take the edges off like so. Okay, so this is going to be representing the bottom lip. I'm going to grab another little piece, roll it out. Okay, so roughed on like that. Use my carving tool to just trim off the excess. Take the paintbrush here. Excuse the interruption. Sorry to interrupt everybody at this time. But we are now ready to begin receiving grade seven classes. Grade seven classes to the gymnasium for the cyberbullying performance. Thank you. As you can tell by that announcement, we are at school, we are in class, and sometimes we have things interrupt us. We got to get used to that, of course. Okay, so now we're starting to get a little bit more detail, starting to have the lips take a bit of shape. All right, and so there you have it. You have the start of the face, and we're going to be working on a lot of details that will take time in class. Um, please don't get stressed in this activity. It's supposed to be fun. Uh, I look forward to working with you in class, uh, and uh, my next video, we will do a demo of eyes, ears, and hair. Thank you. Bye-bye.